Okay, this is a very quick tutorial on how to do recordings for the Razor River podcast, if you choose to do so. All you need is a computer, a microphone, and the following program, which I'm going to tell you how to get. It's completely free, so if you just go to Google and type in Audacity and do a search for that, the top link is a program you want, and if you click on Download Audacity here, if you have Windows, I think there's also a, a, one available for the Mac. And so you just click on this link here to download the program. Uh, one other thing you will need, by the way, after you've downloaded the Audacity program, is if you want to output sound files in an MP3 format, and you will want to do that because uh, any of the files are quite big, um, is download this thing here, which you call the Lame MP3 Encoder. Now, I won't go into too much detail about this. All you need to do is just follow these instructions here. Basically, you download an additional file and you plonk it in the same file as Audacity program files. Uh, if you have any problems on any of this, by the way, just contact me at the Razor River Forum. I can give you a lot more information. Okay, so that's the first part. Download Audacity. Right, so when you have... Um, downloaded Audacity and installed it, this is the screen that you will be confronted with. Now granted, like any program that you've probably not used before, it does look a bit daunting. The thing you only need to concentrate yourself in, concentrate yourself on is these controls up here. This is basically the play, record, pause and stop button. So for example, if I want to record something, I simply press here and start talking and it'll now start doing a recording as you can see, which is all very nice. So if I press stop now, and press play, hopefully it should start yeah. saying it. And start talking, and it'll now start doing the recording as you can see, which is all very nice. So if I press stop... So there you are, it was just doing a recording then of what I was talking. Now, if you need to put the volume up, uh, you can change it there. That will put the volume up of the recording you've just done. You can change the capture recording volume if you want, but here is probably easier if you need to. Uh, this is also the capture record volume if you want to change it there. Either works. Those are just the two ones. That's your um, master volume, so you don't need to worry too much about that. If you're not happy with the recording, you can simply click on it here and you will delete it. But I don't want to because I just want to show you another couple of things. Uh, you can change bits of the recording and delete bits of the recording. So if I wanted to delete that bit there, which I didn't think was very good, I could just press delete, but I don't want to. Um, what you may also find as well if you're doing a recording is you may want to record like 20 seconds of speech and so forth and then stop and then record another bit. That's fine. All you would need to do is if you can see here I'm clicking on different parts and it's bringing up a line. If I click here and then start and press record, it will simply start recording from where the other part finished off. So it's just doing a second layer of recording now. So if I press stop and uh, maybe press here and press play, it should do the two different recordings which I've just recorded. So if I press stop, it will simply start recording from where the other part finished off. So it's just doing a second layer of recording now. So if I press stop... So there we are, that's just two different recordings. Now, if you want to change where one recording finishes and one recording starts, you can do that by clicking in the correct audio track, then clicking on Project, click on Align Tracks, and there are different options here, but if you select Align with Selection Start, as you can see, it's just moved it a bit back. So if I want to maybe start the recording at 10 seconds, I say Project, Align Tracks, and do Selection Start here. So it's moved it onto there, so I now have a gap here. Uh, there are a lot more, I suppose, complex and difficult instructions, which I don't want to go into too much detail here. This is just a very brief... Um, demonstration of how to use Audacity. If you need any help about specific parts, just ask me uh, on the forums and I will try and help you. Now, once you've finished with your Audacity recording, what you'll need to do is click on File, Export as MP3. Now, if you put this extra file in that I asked you to download right at the start of a tutorial, this should be highlighted, so Export to MP3. And you'll get the option of sticking it anywhere you want. So let's put tutorial recording. Do save. And I've also got a thing here. So I just need to put a title on it and so forth. Don't worry about too much about titles and everything because when you save the MP3 and sent it to me, I'll obviously have to rechain I'll have to rejig all that anyway. So if I just put test. Do okay. Now the speed doesn't usually take that long, maybe 
for a five minute recording, it would probably take about 20 seconds so far. Just so one other thing that you need to do before you um, export any recording in is go to edit, preferences, uh, set quality, is it? No, for, file format, and again, this bit should be highlighted. Change the bit rate to as high as possible. That will make the file bigger, but it enables me, uh, when I get the file, to import everything into a, one big file as higher quality as I can. And then when I do the final export, I take the quality down. It's just so that we have the highest quality when we're putting all the recordings together, and it really helps me. So put it up to 320. It'll probably make the file size twice as big as how many minutes it is. So if it's a two minute recording, it should be four meg, which is nothing really in this day and age of the internet. Okay, so that's a very quick tutorial on a recording. Uh, I hope you find this helpful. If you need any more advice, just ask me again on the Razor River podcast forum or so forth. Or I'll set up another uh, thread in the forum so you can put any suggestions and ask how you do certain things and I may do another recording of this in the future just to help you along. Okay, thanks very much and good luck and enjoy your recordings.